as application servers run out of capacity, they run into the problem of giving back slow responses to end users. With Obby, there's several solutions to this. Typically, if you're just running in vCenter, your answer is simply over provision and have many additional servers within the pool. But with Avi, you can do something a little more intelligent, mm -hmm. such as have Avi be able to identify that those servers are giving back slow responses based upon the volume of traffic or CPU or combinations of metrics. Once it sees this, Avi can then kick off an action to tell vCenter to spin up additional copies of servers based upon a template. Similarly as well, we can also tell vCenter to spin in or scale in the capacity of servers to reduce the number if the volume decreases. Within the Avi configuration, we have a pool of servers. That pool can reference a number of other policies, and those policies can individually be configured to set the minimum maximum number of servers in the pool, effectively setting speed bumps. And then we can set thresholds by which when should we scale up, when should we scale down, and what logic should we use to do that within. That could be something like a, um, if the CPU is above a certain threshold, but usually you want to be a little more intelligent than that and start layering in additional factors such as if the application response starts suffering or if the bandwidth increases or some combinations like this. And then from that we can then decide to take an action. The action would say let's scale up capacity or let's scale back in because we need less and that can all be done via something like a control script. We can do this a number of different ways. We can hook into VRO, into VRA, use uh, APIs, for the uh, controllers that we're talking to. For this example that I'm showing off here, we're using uh, some uh, Python scripting as well as some control scripts. This particular script is available on github.com. So take a look at that if you want to see more. So our virtual server is pointing to a pool. The pool currently contains one server. If we go in and take a look at the configuration of the pool, this pool is configured to use an auto scale policy which we can go and create a new one or edit this one. This policy has settings such as the minimum and maximum servers, what criteria we should use for scaling in or scaling out, and we can go and edit these criteria. So we are saying that we want to scale out if the server bandwidth exceeds 100 megabit per second over 30 second average duration, and if some other criteria such as if the application response time exceeds 100 milliseconds during that same 30 second period, then we want to take that action of scaling out and then go kick off that data script. Now that we've got traffic coming into the virtual service, we've got a couple megabits of traffic coming in, and we can see that as soon as we did that, we have an alert config here as the pool scale out was kicked in, and then the server scale out uh, is executed. So what that means is that Avi then detected that this criteria was true for this period of time that we were configured for, in this case the bandwidth increased. So we made the call out to vCenter, told vCenter to spin up a new copy of the server. Once that new copy of the server is spun up from the template, Avi is able to add it to the pool, start health checking it, and we can see a full JSON view of this. But basically what we see is that we went from one server to two servers in the pool. If we flip back to the pool, look at the server count, and we now have two servers in the pool and we're now load balancing traffic across these two servers. So whatever our metrics or criteria may have been for when we want to scale up, how aggressively, when we want to scale in, and what metrics that we're going to do this based upon, all of that is going to be executed based upon this.